Hello, I'm Andrew Greenfield, an IBM Global Engineer, and today I'd like to introduce you to IBM's Spectrum Virtualize for Public Cloud. This solution uses the same software-defined storage, we call that SDS, to provide you and your businesses a way to seamlessly extend your on-premise IBM Flash system to multiple clouds. or to use as an all-in cloud solution to manage and optimize your data on public cloud infrastructure, such as Microsoft Azure. Data can be extended from an on-premise IBM Flash system to public clouds with the same replication process and interface that you use today. Furthermore, using the native storage optimization features inside Spectrum Virtualize for Public Cloud, such as compression, data deduplication, easy tier, and thin provisioning, you can save even more by reducing your cloud storage footprint. Spectrum Virtualize for Public Cloud is currently available in Microsoft Azure, Amazon's AWS, and of course, IBM Cloud. In any of these clouds, we leverage cloud infrastructure as a service to run IBM's 15 year plus hardened array controller software known as Spectrum Virtualize. In this video, we're gonna focus on the Azure version of Spectrum Virtualize for Public Cloud. SV for PC is always deployed as highly available HA through a predefined ARM template from the Azure Marketplace. And nearly every on-premise feature is available in the same manner. During the deployment process on Azure, IBM offers the choice of deploying a two node cluster in a variety of sizes of VMs, the DSV3 series, D16S, D32S, and D64S. The DSV3 series offers a combination of V CPUs and memory well suited for most production workloads. IBM also leverages Azure's Manage disks for all data storage, which can be provisioned to Azure's host VMs or replicated elsewhere to other Azure regions and across multiple availability zones. Data can also be replicated back to on-premise deployments of IBM Flash systems. SV for PC can leverage multiple storage tiers of Azure's managed disks to give you our customer performance and cost options for your entire enterprise. For example, you can choose between standard SSD and premium SSD, depending on your application's IOP requirements or bandwidth needs, as well as your budget. In either case, because SV for PC is always deployed as HA, we only support the shared disk option for any Azure managed disk that is used. This feature enables each disk to attach to both SV for PC's VMs providing protection against a node failure. IBM also offers software features such as EasyTier, which allows us to move data with low IOP requirements to lesser tiers of Azure managed disk block storage. Additional optimization capabilities mentioned earlier, like dedupe, compression, and thin provisioning will further lower your monthly costs for Azure managed disk. Because the user interface and APIs of SV for PC are exactly the same on the cloud as on-premise IBM Flash systems, this ensures that any automation that you might have built in to your existing process and procedures are exactly the same and can be repurposed in the cloud. For example, Ansible playbooks will easily be reused with SV for PC on Azure or other cloud providers. Managing copies and snapshots on the cloud has never been easier if you're deploying IBM's Spectrum Virtualize for Public Cloud. By having an Azure SV for PC instance, it enables both standard snapshots called flash copies and also IBM's safeguarded immutable snapshots, which provide bulletproof data protection with logical air gaps. These immutable snapshots also only store point in time deltas of your mission critical data. 
This is part of IBM's Cyber Vault blueprint and strategy, enabling customers to have immediate, fully protected, isolated, and validated copies of mission critical data. This can be immediately used to prevent and recover from any cyberware or malware attack. In case you are new to storage, Spectrum virtualized flash copies or snapshots are not performance impacting and very easy to use. IBM extends this robust technology for an immediate and immutable version that we call safeguarded snapshots. Another feature of IBM Spectrum Virtualize is a storage efficiency specifically enabling secondary or disaster recovery copies to leverage this compression, data deduplication within provisioning to let your business operate at full performance while only keeping a data reduced set of snapshot copies to further minimize your monthly cloud storage costs. And remember, since SV for PC is providing you with all of these tiering copy and snapshot technologies, there's no need to purchase them on your Azure managed disk or VMs. The maturity of the IBM technology makes it very simple for you to easily replicate data from on-premise to any other data center, including your cloud deployments. Once you establish the initial baseline, it's only the delta changes of your data that need to be replicated thereafter. Replication is supported either as synchronous for distances 300 kilometers or less, or asynchronous. If you need to move data, we make it simple to reverse that replication and send only the required changes back. By providing an easy button for data portability, there's another benefit where our customers can easily transform their workloads to the major cloud offerings. IBM uses the same operating system across all of these environments. This also provides for a huge savings in time as you can quickly deploy today and start replicating data within minutes without any retraining or procedure changes. As one customer remarked to me, Unlike an on-premise Spectrum Virtualize, you can literally spin up as many instances of SV for PC across the globe in less than 30 minutes each and be replicating before the end of the hour. Now that is considerably faster than normal on-premise acquisition, provisioning, and deployment. By all means, please reach out to your local IBM business partner or seller and give Spectrum Virtualize for Public Cloud a try. IBM has free trial options as well as proof of concepts in addition to many red books, videos, and interactive tours available. You can see them in the description below and at the end of this video. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you at an upcoming IBM event.